Hey guys, Justin here with Imageworks Painting. Today we're going to talk about the paintbrush, the most important tool for any painting project. There's a lot of them out there on the market, so we're going to go through just a few of them and tell you how to choose the right one for your painting project. Every brush we have here on this table today is for a different type of project. We're going to go through each one, talk just a little bit about each brush, and when to use each pro these two brushes that we have here are really cheap, economical brushes for quick, throwaway projects. You might use these for paint samples or epoxies if you have to cut in and toss the brush at the end of the project. These brushes here are where you start to get into homeowner quality brushes. Somebody who only needs a paint brush a couple times a year. You can see that they still have stainless steel wraps on them. They're riveted into the handle. These ones here both come from Sherwin-Williams. The Pro Val on the left is a little bit lower quality. This is the Contractor Series here on the right. You can see they come in different widths with an angle sash or a flat sash. First we're going to go through a couple brushes with synthetic bristles. These are usually used for water-based or latex paints. They come in different shapes, sizes, widths, and cuts. Two that I have here happen to be Purdy brushes. This is the Pro Extra with blue bristles. This has nylon, polyester, and Chinex bristles to it. This one here. This is the Purdy Clear Cut Elite. It comes with nylon and polyester bristles. Both of these can be used for water-based paints. And they hold their shape very well. This happens to be an ultra stiff bristle, and this one here is a stiff bristle brush. Helps with cutting in when you need to get a nice, sharp, clean line. This brush here is the Purdy White Bristle Brush. Natural bristle brushes are usually used for oils or stains, and they are very soft. I happen to like a flat sash whenever I'm doing oil-based painting, but as you can see, this piece here is stainless steel. It's riveted straight to the brush, not just glued on or pressed in. That will hold up for years and years to come. The last important thing to think about whenever you're looking for brushes is the shape of the brush itself. As I mentioned before, this oil brush has a flat sash to it. This is a good cut in brush, it has an angle sash, it's two and a half inches wide, and it's just a regular shape that you'd expect to see a brush in. This one here is also an angle sash, but if you take a look at the end, it's semi-oval. This will hold a lot of paint and go very far. This is great when you're painting stucco, when you're trying to cut in a wall, anything that you might need to hold a little bit more paint without having to go back to the bucket. I know this all seems like a lot of information just for a paintbrush, but don't worry. There's really only one or two things that you need to know. Pick a brush that you're comfortable with. The size, the angle, the shape of the handle, how it feels in your hand. Grab every brush off the rack and see which one you like the best. You'll be using it a lot to cut in, so make sure it's the right one for you. Secondly, make sure that you're using synthetic bristles on water-based paint and natural bristles on an oil-based paint. That's the most important thing. And if you can't remember that when you're in the store, if you take your gallon of paint, look right here at the back, it will actually tell you which type of brush to apply. Brush. Use a polyester nylon brush. If you can't remember, just look on the can. It'll tell you plain and simple. Thanks, this is Just from Imageworks Painting, and good luck out there.